to Texas Rep. Matt Schaefer, and he joins us via Skype. He's also Lieutenant Commander in the U.S. Navy Reserve, and he works with Defense and Veterans Affairs and Urban Affairs uh, as well on those committees. Uh, so good to, to talk with you, Representative Schaefer. And I, I saw this, well, it wasn't last night. It was like a 4 o'clock yesterday, but still. Uh, you've seen all of this controversy uh, so have, have you and I'm sure you've seen excerpts and and the promotional stuff for this film just as everyone else has um, what what was your first thought about this and 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 have you you've asked the AG's office to investigate have you gotten a response I have spoken to Attorney General uh, Paxton's uh, attorneys uh, even this morning and I can tell you that the CEO of Netflix has the attention of uh, attorneys in the attorney general's office today who have criminal statutes on their desk and they're looking at what uh, may apply. You know, in the state of Texas, we have laws against sexual performance by a child. Mm -hmm. We have laws against uh, distributing or displaying sexual content to a minor. Uh, th this content is revolting. And if, if this doesn't cross a limit, th then what does? If this doesn't set a precedent that allows all sorts of more obscene material to be distributed by Netflix, then, uh, you know, what, what, what is the limit? Uh, that's the real question here. But I think we need to think about a couple things. One, think about the adults who were filming this yeah. and uh, coaching and directing these children. Okay, now perform this act. Imagine the young girls that came to audition. What did yeah. they ask them to do at the audition? One of the producers said that he that he had six hundred some odd girls. Da they danced in front of him to audition for this. That's so. As a parent, I'm so thoroughly disgusted. It's scary, and you know we do have a First Amendment and we do have freedom of expression, but we also have obscenity laws for a reason, and that's to protect children. And if something is coming close to the edge, and I don't think this does, I think it goes over. But if it did. I think the tie goes to protecting children. Mm. And I think that uh, our laws need to address this. And I'm asking Attorney General Paxton to use every uh, tool and every authority he has at his disposal uh, to hold Netflix accountable. Yeah. And, and, and to be frank, and I said this yesterday, I noticed that some of the, the earliest reviews that I saw of this film, a lot of people were saying it seems as though you sacrificed subtlety to make this film by being so in your face about it, uh, it because you mistrusted, you didn't trust your audience and it seems entirely gratuitous. And these were people that were, you know, at Hollywood Reporter and Screen Rant that were saying this. Now there were a few and I, and, and no offense to any older gentlemen that are balding and have beards out there. But I noticed that there was a c commonality between some of the earlier defenders of this, Rolling Stone and elsewhere, they all looked like, and I had said, like a combination of Rasputin and Lemony Snicket. And that was unsettling to me to have someone who fits this caricature of what we think of as a child predator defending this kind of stuff in these editorials for these publications. And they were trying to say, well, it's for the sake of art. Well, I, I think that there's a difference between art and between smut, quite honestly. And, and this lacked the artistic integrity and I quite and quite frankly, some of the talent to actually carry that defense through if, if we have to talk about it on those terms also. And this conversation about what is art and freedom of expression and writing is all great for adult conversations. Right. But the simple truth is that this material is going to be seen by a lot of right. 12, 13, 14, 15 year old boys. And when you're putting that kind of content in front of them, do you think they're having these uh, academic conversations about, oh, this is just First Amendment freedom of expression? No, this this crosses a line. And we have we have to stand up as a culture and say, how far are we going to go? Are we mm -hmm. going to say that, you know, as long as there's the tiniest thread of fabric in between a, a little girl's body and the camera, you can do whatever you want to. Awesome. Is that where we are as, as a society? And as much effort as the state of Texas has put into money, resources, coordination, education on human trafficking, the age of these girls right. that are falling into human trafficking, they fit the category of this film. Exactly. This encourages it. It puts material out there for people to see. And it plays on those sexual interests of predators. 
that is at the core of what we're trying to to stand up for here is protection of children from people who would exploit them uh, and hurt them. And if we can't do that, what good are we yeah. in government at this point? And you make you bring up a great point. I actually went. I was looking at some of the statistics just here in the United States as to human trafficking and how the vast majority of girls that enter what uh, what was termed as the quote unquote trade are the exact age of these young girls that are in this film. And, you know, being from, you know, you're talking about the state of Texas. Texas is, because of its its uh, position by the border, is a state that deals with a lot of these issues. And when I was looking at, uh, in terms of calls to human trafficking hotlines, Texas is one of the top three states that uh, where people reach out and they're reporting information, and this is a huge concern for law enforcement. And you bring up this very good point because, I, it, it seems ironic to talk about protecting women and talk about protecting children and young girls, but yet here we have something like this that I do also believe, and I'm I'm pretty uh, I I can be very much a free speech purist, but as some I mean I studied dance I did all this 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 is not it, and and yeah. in the state where we're dealing with these kind of issues and in a country where we have these kind of issues and it's 2020 and it's insane to me. This film is not helping, and as you as you briefly mentioned there, it really can compound these issues. It can, and those that are defending it right now, and, and some of those voices are coming from the left, their line of argument is really consistent with the same line of argument that says, you know, if you're upset about economic uh, problems, then it's okay to go burn someone's store or loot someone's store. If you're upset about an act of police brutality, then it's okay to go burn down a police station or throw a rock or a brick at a police officer. Well, if you're upset about children being sexually exploited, it's not okay to sexually exploit children in a film. Like you said earlier in your show, Dana, we don't need uh, you to to display uh, these things. You know, we don't need to un to to have you put it on film that it's not okay for a young girl to take a picture of herself, mm. of, of her mm. private parts and put it on the internet by by depicting that in a film we don't need you to do this okay mm. uh, and so that does cross a line uh, we have statutes on the books that i believe are on point um and and if if they're not on point then we need to make sure that we take a hard look at that uh when the legislature reconvenes uh to see what we can do what ultimately, and last question for you, we're talking to Texas Representative Matt Schaefer, who has asked uh, the Attorney General, uh, uh, Ken Paxton, his office to investigate that, that what everyone's talking about, that Netflix film Cuties in which these young girls, I mean, it's sexploitation of young girls. Uh, what, what, you know, looking in, into your crystal ball, what sort of response do you expect or what would you like, what would you like, what outcome would you like to see happen? At a minimum, I would like to see Netflix stop distributing it. Uh, I also, at a minimum, uh, would like to see our attorney general take legal action, either criminal or civil, to uh, get restraining orders to not only uh, go after Netflix, but if, you know, look, look at the uh, Internet providers that are distributing this, you know, Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, go down the list. You know, you don't have to distribute this stuff. You can do what's right. Hollywood can do what's right. The executives at the Internet providers can do what's right. Whether it's legal or not, you can do what's right. Okay. But at a minimum, uh, state government needs to use its full authority to try to stop this. Well, we'll be watching the story. And please keep us updated and everyone else as well. Uh, Texas Representative Matt Schaefer with the Texas uh, District 6. We appreciate you speaking out on this and being the first to, to push back against this in the capacity that you are. Because, like, as I said, as a parent... Uh, I'm really troubled by this. And I we, I mean, we have a, enough to worry about as parents right now without this being added to it. So uh, appreciate your diligence and your, your, your uh, uh, action on this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dana, for letting me speak up. Of course. Take care. Thank you. God bless.